Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. And we are still tracking those showers across green countries. We go through the morning hours. Scattered showers are going to be likely. Thankfully, though, not very heavy, and we're not expecting a repeat as far as the rainfall amounts of the last couple of days. Just more inconvenience type stuff. And with the unsettled weather pattern, that's going to keep us rather cool, too. You can see the rain showing up here on dual Doppler. It is a little bit more widespread, at least currently here across central parts of the state, but filling in here over parts of Creek County. And as you head over to around Ofusky County, for the most part, Everything's just kind of lifting its way northward. A little bit lighter here to the east, but we'll zoom in a little closer here again. Creek County, Pawnee County, Osage County, fairly steady rain at the moment. Again, not very heavy, but we'll keep those roads wet, so just keep that in mind as you're heading out for the morning drive. And we'll keep that higher chance to the west as we go into the afternoon as well, and a bit more isolated for those of you to the east, but might even get an isolated thunderstorm or two to pop up by later this afternoon too, but we're not expecting any severe weather. But if you happen to see a flash or two of lightning and hear a rumble of thunder or two, that will be possible. As the storm system just kind of wraps up on top of us and kind of moves a little bit more to the north and east by tomorrow, we'll get the wraparound moisture on the back side of it. So I fully expect some scattered showers to be wrapping around the back side of the system tomorrow. We're going to look at that here in just a second, but you can see how unsettled it is here. This is from Peoria. You. Looking back toward downtown here in our Wade's RV weather camera network right outside our studio here at Brookside. Great view there, but again, just kind of cool and damp. It does not feel or look like late May. We've been stuck in this weather pattern, and the reason why is this low has been really a pesky system for us over the last couple of days, and it's not going to move a whole lot. It's basically cut off from the main upper level flow, so it's going to continue to sit here and spin. So we'll have showers still kind of wrapping around this as we go through today tonight and guess what even into tomorrow and then finally tomorrow afternoon maybe a bit more of a push to the north and east we get more on the back side of this system and by Friday things should start to clear out for us and once that sun returns we'll return to more May standards with the temperatures on Friday going above average into the upcoming uh, Memorial Day weekend looking great for any plans that you may have.